Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this smooth and cool expanding image animation on hover effect with text content overlay in Elementor for free. That is to say, if you're the Elementor free user, you can create this wonderful effect. Even the pro users, you automatically you can create this effect. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks like so. So now when you hover, you have this effect here with the text header and then the button that is clickable. You hover, you have this like this and like this and like this and mind you this effect is highly responsive on all devices including the mobile and we can check that out like so we come over here check it out on tablet and you can see our effect on tablet and then you come over here to our mobile check it out on mobile now you we all know that on mobile we do not have hover effect however i was able to make this effect to take place on click so now when you click you have this effect you click you have it like this as you can see so this is a mind-blowing effect that you can use to stylize whatever project you're working on okay and also you can create other variations of it like this let's say the full screen variation like what you have here okay so you can see this looks crazy you can use it to create an amazing hero section on your project okay so without further delay let's dive in and get started In our Elementor editing screen, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'll click on this plus icon here, select the flexible container, then I'll select this structure here. Then I'm going to come over here. For reference purposes, I'm going to call this container our uh, animation section. Then for the animation section container, I'm going to come over here, set the content width to full width. For the minimal height, I change the unit to BH and give it the value of 100. Then I'll come over here and justify content to the center. Now I'm going to come over to this first container here and I'll rename it our image content. That is the image and content. This is where it's going to go. So now for this one here, I'll come over here, make sure I justify content to the center and set the alignment to the center. Come over to add element and then I'm going to add a heading. Now for the heading text, I'll just call this this elegant. Then I'll go to the style option and set the alignment to the center. Then I'm going to come back to add element and select the text editor. Go to the style option and set the alignment to the center. Come back here to add element and I'll set the button widget. Now for the text here, I'll just set it to learn more. And then go to the style option and make sure I set the position to the center. Okay. So now that I've done that, the next thing I'll do is I'll come back here to our image content container, go to the style option, then come over to the background type and give it the background of classic and then set a background image. So in our media library, I'm going to select this image here. Okay. Then I'll come down here and tweak it a little bit. For the position, I'll set the position to center, center. For the repeat, I'll set it to no repeat. And then the display size, I'm going to set it to cover. So we'll have it like so. So now we can see the content here. We're going to stylize them a little bit more. So for the heading text, I come over here, change the color to white. And then for the text editor, I come over to the style option and change the text color to white as well. Then for the button, I go over here for the background. For the text color, I'm going to set it to black. Then for the background color, I'm going to set it to white. Come down to the border radius and give it a border radius of 20 pixels all around. So we now have a design that looks like so. Okay, so the next thing we can do here is we just come over here to our image content container. Come down here and give it a little bit of background overlay so that our content will be visible. So come over here, set the background type to be uh, color. So we're going to set it black and then come over here for the opacity. We're going to reduce the opacity to 0 0.3. So we'll have it like that. Okay, so this looks wonderful as you can see. So now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over here and duplicate this image content and replace all this other content container here that doesn't have any element within that. So I'll just duplicate this and then duplicate it again duplicate it again so we're going to have them five and then i delete all the empty containers like this 
like this. So we'll now have five containers of content within them. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to come over here, change this heading text here. I'm going to give it a name, visuals. And then I go to the container, the image content container. Here, go to the style option and then give it another background image. So I'm going to select this image here. Okay. So this is pretty much what I'm going to do for the remaining container. So in order not to make this video very lengthy, I'm just going to pause it while I replace the content for these remaining three containers here. Okay, so as you can see, I have successfully changed the content, the various content. And so this is what we'll have here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to add our CSS class so that when we add our script, is the, our effect will take place instantly. Okay. So now for the animation section container, I'll just come over here and then come over to the advanced settings and then come over to where we have the custom CSS class. And I'm going to add the CSS class called animation section. Okay. Now that I've done that, the, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over here, click on the add element and search for the HTML widget. Now I'm going to drag the HTML widget and drop it here. So this is where we're going to add our code and I'll head over to my code editor. Now this is the code here. It contains a uh, CSS styling and then JavaScript as well. A little bit of JavaScript. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so you can see our effect has already started taking place. So now when you come down here, you see the JavaScript section here is for the mobile so that this our effect will work perfectly on mobile. Since mobile doesn't have hover effect, what this JavaScript does is it enables a click effect and the, our uh expand and review effects will take place okay so now we can come over here and click on publish we don't have much to do here just click on publish and then we click on preview so you can see this is our effect and when you hover you have this and you hover you have this expanding and then the image content or the content within it appears like this okay so now let's go back to our code so in a situation where you do not want it to be full screen as what we have here you can just come over to this animation section here and then go to the layout make sure you set the alignment set it to stretch make sure you do that okay and then you now come back here to the advanced settings and you add a padding of let's see, let's give it 50 pixel all around so you now have it like this situated to the center like this and then our effect is still taking place like this like this like this and then you can even go further to add some you know border radius so if you want to add a border radius we can do that by just coming over to the first container this one here and then we'll come over to the style option come down to where we have the border and then we'll unlink this and give it a border radius of 50 to the top and then we'll give you the border radius of 50 to the bottom like this okay and then we'll come back to the last container image content this one here and then we'll go to the style option and come down to the border radius unlink this and then to the right we'll give it a border radius of 50 pixel and then to the bottom 50 pixel so we now have something that looks like this as you can see with our effect still taking place okay so however if you do this and you want to go with this particular type of the design all you just need to do to complete it is to come over here to as you can see it looks great on tablet and then you come over here to the mobile and you correct this so for the mobile you come over to the first image content and then you come down here to the border radius you're going to unlink this and then to the top you're going to give it a border radius of 50 and then to the right about the radius and you come down here to the last container come down here and then go to the border radius unlink this and then for the bottom you set it to 50 pixel and the left you set it to 50 pixels so that it looks great like this so what we're going to do next is to click on publish and then we'll come over to preview and you can see this is what we have here with our effect and the button is clickable like this like this and like this and it's highly responsive okay we can check it out on our live website let's preview this effect on the live website
So our live website, this is what our effect will look like on our live website, like this. And then when you click, you have this. You have this. Clickable button here. And we can check it out on other devices. Let's check it out on tablet. You can see this will have on tablet. And then we'll come over here, check it out on mobile. You can see how it looks on mobile now when you come over here you hover nothing happens but if you click you're gonna have this you click you're gonna have this effect like this you click you have this and you click you have it like that okay so that's pretty much it about this tutorial if you find this tutorial helpful and if you learned something for this tutorial remember to give this video a thumbs up and also drop your comment wherever you're confused and if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.